And Josh, I was just having you remind me in the commercial break. Yeah. What like I was like, what is the difference? And you know, one of them, it's lighter longer of the day, and yes, the other one. Yeah. That, now, yeah. <laughs> and I know there's uh, very strong opinions I know. about this. Unpopular yes. opinion right. is if we stay in standard time, that means that our new summertime sunset mm -hmm. will be closer to say about eight o'clock as opposed to the nine o'clock sunsets right. that we right. get. So it's a double-edged sword. It, it is. Yeah. yeah, we'll move on to more pleasant things. Yes. Like, you know, the four, it looks nice-ish out there. And yeah, sure. you, you know, uh, the winter season definitely taking a toll on the high terrain as we're picking up on just a few of those light rain showers right now out towards the government camp area where temperatures are flirting with the freezing degree mark at 36 right now, but a pretty picture out towards seaside. We get a little bit of that moisture just blowing in from the Pacific as the cloud coverage still remains, but overall, starting to see a bit of a drying pattern. And I just absolutely love this shot out towards the Forest Grove area, the rolling hills, the bright colors well underway as our temperatures out of PDX are currently sitting at about 57 degrees. You'll notice though, as we work our way through the rest of this afternoon, still holding on to mostly cloudy skies, maybe a hit and miss shower is a possibility, but for the most part, really starting to dry things out. As a few of those hit and miss showers are rolling through downtown right now. As for the cloud coverage, still widespread, but we'll see a few breaks here and there. That's exactly what we're starting to see out along the coastline as the snow continues to follow over the high terrain, the Cascades, all thanks to that nice onshore flow that continues to push the moisture into the Pacific Northwest. Now we've seen a good drink of water over the past several days, and that does include early this morning where we managed to pick up a little bit more than a quarter of an inch for Portland, over a half inch for Aurora and about a tenth of an inch for the McMinnville area. But overall, a lot of these numbers are going to start to stabilize as our winds will be doing just about the same out of the west. That helps to push that marine layer in for the coastal community, especially as we move into the overnight hours. That's where patchy fog is a possibility as those winds taper back on the calm side. But you can see those northwesterly winds blowing in all thanks to the dueling low pressure systems that have brought us the turbulent weather over the past 24 hours. Now we stabilize things. High pressure moves back into place, dries us out, returns a few little pockets of sunshine here and there before another massive storm starts to develop over the Gulf of Alaska. That will sweep a cold front through our area. By the time we get to Thursday night into Friday, that's where we have the best chance to see the return of the wet weather. Let's time it out for you here with our future cast. Seen maybe a hit and miss shower for the immediate Portland area, at least for your evening commute. So half the windshield wipers ready to go and we'll continue to see drying skies as the cloud coverage really starts to increase. Again, patchy fog, a possibility for some of those low lying areas, but it quickly mixes out by the mid morning hours. And I think we'll be able to see just a little bit more of that sunshine by tomorrow afternoon. That will make temperatures in the mid 50s feel just a little bit nicer out there and we actually get to enjoy the sunshine shine before the sun sets before the five o'clock hour. But then we're socked in with the clouds once again for Thursday as the next round of rain returns for the second half of the day. So we get the next 48 hours or so on the drier side. But some of our weather models kind of predicting a little bit more of a heavier precip amount for the Portland area seeing about six one hundredths of an inch. I think that some of these numbers are slightly on the higher end, at least through Wednesday afternoon as the snow elevation retreats. That comes with the drying trend before it dips down close to the government camp point for the end of the week. 55, that's our expected high today. Tonight, back to 44. We got the double digits there for both daytime highs and overnight lows as we see the clouds start to break free on Wednesday. The wet weather moves in for the second half of the day on Thursday and maybe seeing a hit and miss shower possible for the weekend which Saturday is Veterans Day with a high of 56. Okay, and watch out for slippery leaves. Josh said he kind of ate it on your way into work. Uh, today. More than just kind of. Okay. I, I really wiped out. There might be some bruises under yeah, here. Yeah, so be cautious out there. Be cautious. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. Stick around.